Are you worried that your child might have a tongue tie? Well, you're in the right place because my name is Brian McCormack and I'm a consultant paediatric surgeon. In this video, I'm going to teach you about what this means for your child and how someone like me can fix it for them. So let's get started. As your child develops inside the womb, their tongue separates from the floor of the mouth. A tongue tie occurs when this process doesn't complete properly. Tongue ties are actually quite variable. Some can be incredibly flimsy, while others can be quite thick or fleshy. As children get older, some tongue ties can tear on the lower teeth as children place things into their mouth. If your child's tongue tie is causing feeding problems, particularly with breastfeeding, things such as painful nipples, a poor latch or poor weight gain, then releasing the tongue tie is the only effective treatment. Tongue ties can also make oral or dental hygiene more difficult for your child and can make it painful or uncomfortable for your child to stick their tongue out. The effects of tongue ties or their division on speech is controversial. Front of the mouth sounds such as l, t, th and s can be more difficult to form in the presence of a tongue tie. However, tongue tie division can never be entirely guaranteed to prevent speech problems, nor can it be guaranteed to improve existing speech problems. If your child has a tongue tie and is less than three months of age, then I can safely release the tongue tie in the clinic without the risk of a general anaesthetic. The procedure takes just a few seconds and involves me wrapping them up tightly in a blanket, elevating their tongue, and then carefully releasing the tethering with a pair of sterile scissors. While some babies do cry, many do actually sleep throughout the procedure. And the small moment of discomfort that might be present is certainly worth avoiding the risks of a general anaesthetic and improving your child's feeding. You should feed your child immediately following the release and I will check the area following their feed to ensure that there's no bleeding. If your child has a tongue tie but is older than three months, then their head control will be far too good to safely release the tongue tie without an anaesthetic. Therefore, I will perform the procedure under general anaesthetic on my next available operating list. For particularly thick or fleshy tongue ties, especially in older children, I can also use electrocautery to more safely perform the procedure. In this operation, there are small risks such as bleeding or infection, but thankfully these are extremely rare and often fairly straightforward to treat. I would expect your child to be feeding immediately following the procedure and to go home the same day. So if you're worried that your child has a tongue tie, why not get in touch? You can email me directly at info at mrbrianmccormack.com or call 028 -90 -66 -78 -78 to book an appointment. Until next time, take care of yourself and your family. Thanks for watching.